All right, if I can get everybody on the five yard line, please. All right, shooters, face down range, unload. Magtech has maintained their high quality during the ammo panic and ramped production to the max. Their ammo is the only ammo I run on the range because of its performance and reliability. I recommend Magtech wholeheartedly. Stand by. Up. Did I hit? Did it work? Yes, yes. Safety goes back on. Once I've done my scan, I come back to the known target, bring the gun into the workspace, index a fresh mag, push pull, and then I scan one more time. Right? Don't make the mistake of thinking that right after you've done that ammo management that everything is still okay. Even though it looks like it's happening quickly here, it's probably going to take a little bit more time in real life. Okay? So, after we've done a speed reload, the next reload is going to be a tactical reload. So like I said, there's two ways to do this. There's a pistol version and a rifle version. The pistol version is easier to do with pistols because they're smaller and lighter. Rifle version is easier to do with rifles because I don't have to worry about juggling and losing magazines. The key thing here, what dictates whether or not a tactic or a technique is something I want to use is whether or not I can actually use it in the real world. So how do I measure that? Simple, right? Right now, static square range. Does it work in this environment? Yes, great, move to the next level. Next level, daytime, dynamic, on the move. If I can do it dynamically on the move stat in, um, in the daytime, Great, next level, static nighttime. Does it work static nighttime? Great, yes, then I move to dynamic nighttime. And if it makes it all the way up to that, then it's a technique that I can use. I'll be happy to use, right? But if it only is gonna work under one condition, like the easiest condition to make it work, you gotta question that. That's not necessarily the best tactic for you because you're probably not gonna find yourself in a gunfight on a square range. You're gonna be in the real world where you have to adapt, okay? So here's what that one will look like. Ready? Up. Did I hit? Did it work? Yes. Once I'm done, safety goes back on. I bring the gun into my workspace, remove the mag, stow the mag, fresh mag, push pull, scan one more time. All right, so let's talk about mag pouches. Generally, all of us have our favorite mag pouch that we like to go to. Right? That's the one that we're gonna go to the most. It doesn't matter what type of ammo management you're doing, a combat reload, speed reload, tactical reload, we always wanna to go to that primary mag pouch. Why? Because it's got the most amount of muscle memory. After that, I'm gonna backfill. So when this magazine pouch is empty, I'm gonna take the partial magazines that I've collected and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in that, I'm gonna move the full magazines into my primary, take the partials and move them into my whatever magazine pouches I have left, okay? So that's called backfilling. So when I'm doing this, keep in mind that I don't necessarily um, want to be able to just do this static. I need to be able to do this while I'm moving. I might be standing in the open, and as I have done my immediate threat, now I'm gonna move to cover, but as I'm moving to cover, I wanna go ahead and top my magazine off so that when I get to cover, I can fight. A lot of times people say, get to cover and then do your ammo management. Okay, that's not a bad idea either, but if I can move and get my magazines topped off so that when I get to cover, I can now fight from cover, that's the ideal setting, okay? That's ideal. All right, one more time. Here we go. Ready? Up. Did I hit? Did it work? Yes. Once I'm done, out with the old, in with the new, quick scan. Any questions? Okay, so the last thing I'll cover is just a little bit more on ammo management, but also to include the condition of your gun. So you'll notice that once I'm done with my scan and the safety goes on, what you'll see is there's this little canting motion, right? This little canting motion. And what that cant is doing is it's exposing the ejection port to my vision. And I'm doing a quick glance down to that ejection port. And what I'm looking for is looking for really only three things. Is the bolt forward? Is the bolt back? Is the bolt in the middle? Right? If it's forward, great, close the dust cover. If it's back, oh, out with the old and with the new, charge it, get back in the fight. If it's halfway, I gotta clear that malfunction. Right? So that's visual. Obviously, if it's nighttime, I don't have that access. But I'm still going to rotate the magazine. I'm sorry, let me do this again here. Once I'm done, safety goes on. I'll go ahead and swap magazines. Once I'm done with that, rotate the slide or rotate the rifle over, expose that ejection port so I can look at it and then just close the dust cover. 
Why do we close the dust cover? Because that's the Achilles heel for this gun. If I'm running around with that open and any FOD or debris gets inside there, it's more than likely gonna cause that malfunction, right? So you can help yourself out by just getting in the habit of closing that dust cover. Does anybody have any questions? All right, so we're gonna start with just a standard five round NSR drill and then we'll get into the ammo management later. Seven yard line if you would. All right, shooters, let's go ahead, face down range. Load and make ready, please. All right, on my up command shooters, this is gonna be five rounds, five rounds to the body. Shooters ready. Stand by. Up. Nice, good. So after you're done shooting, you should come down to that low ready. You should scan one target to the left, one target to the right. Then your safety goes back on and then you can go back to your ready position. All right, good. Here we go again. Ready, up. Good. One more time. Ready, up. Good. All right, double check those safeties, let them hang. All right, shooters, let's step back to the 10. So a couple things. So there's a time and a place for everything. For instance, as I'm scanning, do I want to scan with my gun and my eyes in alignment? Absolutely. Whenever possible, that's what I want to do is my primary method. So I'm scanning because here right now, this is nothing. There's no, there's no obstacles or, or, or obstructions. But in real life, I'm going to be trying to do some of this number. I'm not just kind of moving. I'm looking all around. So I don't want to just kind of do one of these numbers. And I don't want to do one of these numbers. I need to be able to make sure that whatever I'm looking at as a target indicator, I can identify. And then once I have identified as a target indicator, I've identified enough positive identification to make the, force, uh, to make the choice to use deadly force. All right, so waving this magic wand is not scanning. You've got to be able to see enough with your eyes to be able to make an informed decision to use deadly force. All right, here we go. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Up. Nice. That's it. Better, 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 better. Good. After the scan, the safety goes on. Now, that's a personal preference, but I will tell you this, that if I'm scanning, what am I scanning for? All right, so if I'm scanning for a threat and I find a threat after I put the safety on, I do have to deactivate the safety. All right, so that's a thing that you have to remember that you put the gun back on safe before you finished your scan, which means that you have to remember to take the safety off to engage the target. Some of you will have that automatically, but it has to be programmed and you have to remember it. All right, here we go. One more time. Ready? Up. Good. Nice. All right, double check the safeties, let them hang. Good, all right, let's step back to the 15. So at the 15 yard line, we're now gonna add ammo management. And the first form of ammo management is gonna be that speed reload. So what I'll do is I'm gonna engage the target. Once I'm done with engaging the target, I'm gonna do my scan. Woo, take your time. Remember, don't be in a hurry to go to the grave. After that, take a deep breath. Whew. Speed reload means that I need to grab this first fresh magazine as soon as I have this magazine and it's moving up to the mag well, hit the old magazine, let it fall free, push, pull. All right? The biggest mistake that we see is when shooters don't pull down. Because the next time you fire a shot, you'll probably get one and the magazine will probably drop free. Make sense? All right. So this is going to be a true NSR, which means it's two to seven rounds. Scan, then a speed reload. Here we go. Shooters ready. Go! Nice. All right, here we go again. Ready? Go. Stand by. Go. Speed reload, yeah. Nice. Get up there and scan again. Get back on the gun, scan again. Nice. Good job, everybody. All right, so everybody double check the safeties. Go ahead, let them hang. Now, first thing we're going to do is take any remaining magazines that are loaded on your body, move them into your primary mag pouches. 
okay? After you've done that, maintain muzzle discipline. Remember, gonna grab the magazine well so that I can hold the magazine or hold the gun in a safe direction, recover all those magazines. Once you've recovered those magazines, go ahead and start backfilling into your uh, ammo carriers and let's head back to the 25. 